Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. Um, I'm Sean from Sean's Shave Den, and uh, today's going to be a special shave. Um, Stephen Carroll from, uh, or Stephen Carl, pronounce, uh, please let me know if I pronounce your name correctly, from Fine Accoutrements, uh, sent me a soap puck for free. Um, he said he would like me to give it a try, and I figured I would say what what the hell not and I was gracious enough to accept this uh really nice gift and this is the new fine accoutrements um aquamarine and it comes it's the puck so it's not the cream it's not a cream but it comes in this little canister and I have it's a hard puck I have it in my my uh, Captain's Choice uh, pull, uh, bowl, which I had soaking a little bit just to soften up the top, top because it is a harder soap. So it helps load the brush a little bit better. And it's a really nice, really nice aqua uh, scent to it. It's got like almost like a salty air, a lot of citrus and some other things. I'll leave the uh, scent notes. It seems very familiar, but it, it, I don't know how to put my finger on where I smelled that scent before. But really nice and really nice of Steven to send me this. Um, thank you very much. Um, so the razor I'm gonna be using with a fresh Gillette Masset blade in it, yeah, right there, is going to be my Gillette Fat Boy on setting seven over there. And uh, the Gillette Nasset, I think it has its second use on it. It's a second use, yeah. So it's not fresh, but second use. And the brush that I'm gonna use today is going to be my synthetic turn and shave knot, which I've had soaking in the water right here. And I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna do a, fa uh, a face lather uh, right in front of you guys on the camera for this, um, because I've been using this for the last week and a half now. And, or week or so um, now, and it really is a wonderful soap. So let me start by, so it comes in this tin, this little tub over here, but I figured I'd take it out and I put it in to my uh, Captain's Choice Bowl. It has little ridges on the bottom, so it sticks to the bottom a little bit easier than it does on a smooth bottle because you got a little bit more surface area, so. I'm going to load the brush up. So hope everybody's been doing well. I know uh, we're on uncertain times and everything with the coronavirus and everything. Uh, over here in Puerto Rico, we've been on lockdown, kind of. Uh, only allowed to go out to grocery stores and everything's kind of closed down. Um, grocery stores, doctor's office, and... Uh, other places like that um, to get your essentials. So it's been kind of depressing, especially, I mean, if you look outside, I think you can see through the window over there. It was a little rainy out this morning, but it looks like it's getting nice out. Nice 80, 90 degree weather over here. So I like to get a nice good load on there. See, got plenty of lather. want to make sure that you get it nice and pasty on the tips and I think that's enough for now dump the water out over here take this proto lather at the end of the bowl now this stuff is really easy to lather um, I mean that proto lather is nice and thick and that'll help towards making the rest of the lather on my face too really nice scent um i'd give it probably about a four or five out of ten as far as um the strength of the scent which is fine i don't need anything very strong right now I'm not going out anywhere right so been catching up on some netflix and amazon shows let me wet the face here And we'll start painting the lather on.
I have about two days worth of growth. Dip the tips of my brush into a little bit of water. Paint the water in. Still pasty. It's got a really nice citrusy aqua scent to it. And it creates a really nice thick, slick lather. So this is a fair, fairly thirsty soap. It is tallow based. So I'm just gonna keep on adding a little bit of water. I apologize if this video is gonna, if this video is gonna take a little bit longer than normal. I just got nothing better to do and I know most people are stuck in the house right now so if you want to watch you can watch the entire video if not that's fine I mean look at that lather right now Just add a bit more water. All right, I think that's good. Um, really nice lather. And for those of you that see, this is the type of lather that I like um, personally. I like it a little bit more yogurty sheen than most people. Well, not most people. I think more people are getting into that lather anyway. But this is what I get the best shaves out of for me, at least. So we'll start with the first pass over here. My Gillette Fat Boy is on setting seven. really nice um this lather provides a really nice slickness and a really nice cushion to it um and i do have to say as far as like bang for its buck and also the quality i i, I like the puck and i haven't tried their other pucks which i'm assuming is the same formula their other pucks of soap i like i like it a little bit better than Their creams, which I 
I think you get a better bang for your buck with the soap. It's a better, it's a better formula. And it's cheaper in my opinion. Um, this soap is gonna last you a long time because it's hard, it's a hard soap. Not saying the cream won't last you a good bit either, but this soap is definitely gonna last a lot longer than the cream. I believe the puck, and you can find this scent only on West Coast Shaving. It's a collaboration scent with West Coast, so I don't see it going on any other sites in the near future. Just West Coast Shaving, and I'll leave the site down below. Really good residual slickness, really good cushion. My wife's got a little bit of a cough. It's not the coronavirus, I swear, but um, it is scaring me a little bit for her sake. She does have some respiratory issues. So we're kind of on quarantine here. So not, not quarantine because we're sick, but quarantine because all Puerto Rico is in quarantine right now. And I think it's about to get worse. They're gonna actually start enforcing it a little bit more. And kind of do a lockdown and not allow people to go even to the grocery stores. Really nice shave so far. And I'm trying my hardest not to, because I still have to work, but she doesn't. And I deal with a lot of the international ships that come into port, which we've shut down a, a, a few uh, countries from coming in. But we still have to do our job as almost as normal. And we're kind of on a different schedule, just so we don't get everybody else sick. All right, so that's it for the first pass. Let me get lathered up on the face so you don't watch me lather um, for the next few passes and uh, make the video a lot longer. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, back for the second pass. As you can see, there's still plenty of lather in the brush. This, uh, this soap really lathers very well and very easily. Um, so anyway, let me put some alum on my hands so I don't slip off the grip of here. So anyway, we're on lockdown really until April 4th, I think. could go on for a little bit longer, depending on what they find out. But my advice to you guys is to listen to the restrictions. Stay safe, guys. Don't be stupid. It's It really is selfish to think that you're not gonna go, even if you're not sick, you're you're not gonna pass it on to some be, some people that are more vulnerable than you. Maybe you're in good health. Maybe you have, you're a pillar of the, of the healthiness in the community, you know? Um, but that doesn't mean that everybody around you is. So, even if you don't so show symptoms, you can still pass it on. So be safe, guys. Don't go to parties. Stay with your family and watch some Netflix. 
pass through these uncertain times. This is not the uh, this is not the apocalypse. I could tell you that right now. Things will get better. Many of our ancestors dealt with times like these and worse. You know, they didn't have the technology that we have today to help help us. But things will get better. And when this quarantine and everything ends and we start to slow the spread of this, because I could guarantee you it's not going to stop it altogether. There will be out, um, there will be other outbreaks probably throughout the year. But the important thing is that we slow it down so we're not bogging down our hospitals. We're getting the people that actually need the help, the, the help they need. The ones that weren't healthy before, the ones that actually need the respirators to survive. But we will get past this. I uh, I was watching, and that's the second pass right there. Really nice, really good pass. Um, I was watching Sinatra Lennon, which if you guys don't watch Sinatra Lennon, he's definitely got a lot more followers than most people in the shave community do. So I'm sure most of you have heard of him. He's been really coming out with some very inspirational videos, and it, it really did make me smile when I watched one of his last shaving videos with margaritas on the ice. And I'll probably link him, link, link that video to this, to this video as well, um, just so you could see it. But he's been very, very inspirational. Um, really did make me smile a little bit. Anyway, that's the second pass. Let me get lathered up for the third pass and I'll be right back. Okay, back for the third and final pass. Let me get started against the grain. So my advice to everybody is start doing doing a little bit of things that you can do around the house. Keep from getting bored. Do a shave if you if you don't even if you don't need to. That's what I'm doing. I don't need to do a shave today. But I figure I'd do a little video because I haven't been, haven't really been doing as much as I would like to be doing. Just been super busy at work. And I'm gonna try and do a little bit more videos on my days off, just to kind of keep going a little bit. I forgot to say this, this Gillette Fat Boy is the Chameleon Colors uh, done by uh, Justin Sherlock at Sherlock Shave Co. Really great job he did.
And I'll probably either upload this video either today, which is Sunday, or tomorrow. Whatever I feel like it. But hopefully everybody's having a good day today. Nobody's getting sick. And if you have to work over the week, please be careful. I'm sure there are different jobs out there that require you to work and they're giving you different hours to kind of stay away from people or working from home. Unfortunately, I don't have that luxury of working from home. Somebody's dog keeps on barking. Once again, this soap, which I haven't really talked too much about, has really good residual slickness. Um, the slickness on the initial slickness is really good too. It really does help you get that close shave. Without the irritation. And for $16, I think this is like a three, three ounce puck. And it's a hard soap, so it'll last. quite some time and it's a really nice inspirational scent it's perfect for the spring weather that's coming up and that's it for the final pass let me get cleaned up here let me get cleaned up here and I'll be right back with the post shave see you guys okay. a little bit back for the post shave and as you can see I got a really nice BBS shave with fines new aquamarine that's in collaboration with west coast shaving as it says right down below over here so that's this the only site that you could find this soap um which in my opinion was fantastic um so the post shave i unfortunately was not able to be sent the aftershave splash the matching aftershave splash um, I live in Puerto Rico, so it's a little harder to send um, alcohol-based uh, products to here by, by U.S. Postal Service um, because it has to go on a, on a plane, um, and alcohol products aren't necessarily allowed on planes for international flights. So today I'm going to be using my Mirasol Plastique, which is one of my favorite aftershaves um, really good. Uh, it doesn't have really any smell to it. It's kind of a neutral scent. So it's not going to cover up any of the scent of what you are wearing, what you used as far as the soap. Um, and it has a little bit of menthol and it really does feel good on the face. So let me shake that up. And I get a little bit in my palm here. Really nice shave. No irritation whatsoever. All right, and that is it, guys. Um, I do have to say, um, I would definitely buy another one of uh, fine soaps again it really is a good bang for its buck um i like the creams but i think their their soaps uh far out outweigh the the creams in my opinion um as far as the um 
performance and even the face feel on the afterwards on the aftermath of the shave. Really nice. Um, I'd probably buy a cream again if it's on sale, but um, the soap is where it's at. And I love their aftershave splashes too. So if you guys want to get a, a good soap, Aquamarine is really good. And I'm sure his other scents are really good as well. So have a good one, guys. Um, stay safe out there. Don't be stupid. Um, stay away from crowding crowds of people. And um, yeah, wash your hands. Bye, guys.